we already work with St. Joe Hospital and Memorial Hospital fixing and uh, modifying toys for kids with special needs. And uh, Elise Gettleman, who's one of our contacts at Memorial, came to us and she had this idea for a powered, uh, for taking a Little Tykes toy hammer and making it uh, accessible and usable by a child with cerebral palsy. And so we kind of brainstormed from there and we decided we were able to do it. It was the biggest toy we've ever done. I don't even know if you can call it a toy anymore. And we kind of figured out what she needed, what uh, the little boy Austin would need, and just kind of worked from there. The biggest part of the modification was being able to put in a motorized steering system. Once we were able to kind of put a, a motor into the, uh, the vehicle that could steer it left and right, then we just had to make it so that there were other switches that could um, turn on and off the motor and turn on and off the forward and backward um, motion of the, of the Hummer. There are no words that really can describe. Um, just being able to see that, that all the work that, that you've put in is really valuable and really improves someone's life is just unbelievable. And you know, I, don't, I really don't think that words can describe how good it made Derek and I feel. It was, it was just amazing to see him smile 